Hmm. And it's God calling. <laughs> and he's calling. As it winds down my day, as it gets quieter and calmer, as the night rolls in, and as I think about all that happened in my day, you know, I'm thrilled that I took the time and I take the time to share with Jesus, not just listening for what he would tell me, but expressing to him what together we did and how <laughs> I get a kick out of reading, sometimes him speaking, sometimes him implying, sometimes expressions of joy through circumstances, sometimes directly conversational, but I get to express to him through my day all the things that together we experience and it makes God so real that you know I I can't tell you what it's like except to say try it and see like the expression says you know in the scripture and it's true taste and see that the Lord he is good and until you taste it you know until you can really figure out what that means then Jesus will just be an idea to you and it will just be a matter of faith or a religious expression. But the Son of God claimed that he would do something different than any other person in the universe. That he would reveal himself to you. That he would come into your heart and that he would live inside you. And that he would reveal himself to you. He said it. I didn't. When he said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. He was expressing the whole concept that he could come to your front door and literally knock and show up in physical form and sit down and have coffee with you. Do you anticipate that? I do. <laughs> Why do you think I share these? I look forward to the day that in the midst of sharing these, that one day as I'm reading, no longer is it my voice that speaks but his and he's sitting right there beside me <laughs> wouldn't that blow your mind there are things that have happened in my life that would blow your mind so for that that would just be typical <laughs> in God calling see as I see oh Lord we praise thee bless us we beseech thee I bless you. I promise you release. Joy in me. You shall be shielded from the storm. Wonders have unfolded just to come before me and stay for a while in my presence. This must strengthen and help you. Learn of me. The only way for so many in my poor world to keep calm, sane, is to have the mind which is in Jesus Christ, the mind which is in me. That mind you can never obtain by reasoning or by reading, but only by living with me and sharing my life. Think much of me. Speak much of me. See others as I see them. Let nothing less satisfy you. And that's how I came to hear God speak. Was I was not content with all the platitudes and preachings and teachings that people said well if you read your bible that's like god speaking to you and if you study the scriptures that's like god speaking to you and if you you know find an open door that's like god speaking to you or if you circumstances fit that's like god speaking to you and every time that they would say that little did they know that that drove me farther away from them and god because i thought that if god could speak then he should be able to do it direct Otherwise, it all sounded like baloney to me. And so, I spent a lot of time in the midst of congregations seeking God and what he would say to me alone rather than being participating in what was happening around me sometimes because I wasn't satisfied with the answers that I was given that were religious. I wanted to know Jesus. 
and I wanted him to fulfill what he said he would do. <laughs> and I was belligerent about it. But you know what? He did. So all I can tell you is don't be satisfied with anything less than knowing God personally. And when we say personally, I don't mean by faith. I mean by experiential knowledge that comes with faith, that comes through faith, and that comes by knowing the Son of God. Because He can, and He will, and He does, when He chooses to, speak and reveal Himself, as only Jesus can. And you'll know. You'll know. There will be no doubt.